Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new logo tutorial. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making 26 videos consecutively uh, making the logos A through Z. So yeah, this is going to be the first one. So yeah, let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really minimal A logo. And to start off, what I like to do is I like to make my, um, my template uh, file new. And I like to have width a thousand and height a thousand. So once you do that, uh, what I'm going to do is I start off with a, a rectangle. So I come over here to the shapes tool, hit the rectangle tool, just take it, slide across, don't make it too thick, something like that looks good. Maybe just a little bit thinner, just like that. So once you have one, I want to duplicate it. So I hit Alt, click, and drag it down around about here so now I have an equal sign so after that I want to make a circle that goes right in the middle right here so I go to the shapes tool the clips tool make sure it's on the path the outside path of the first line hold alt sorry not alt hold shift drag it down all the way to the bottom one right there so now you can tell we have a circle in the middle and I want to do another one with the inside lines right here. So I do the exact same thing, shift, hold it, drag until it connects right there. So now I want to put this circle inside of this one. So I can do that, sliding until it locks right there. So if I select all of them, you can see that circle is perfectly inside this one. So now I want to hollow it out, so delete it. So I want to always have my selection tool selected when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So just select, drag, make sure they're highlighted, come to the Shape Builder tool, select that, hold Alt, delete. So just delete this inside the circle, make it hollow. So now this is where I start to make it an A. So I can put this shape off to the side, put this off to the side as well, bring this down to the center, and I want to rotate it. So let's go to the corner and just rotate it up to make the left side of the A right there looks good maybe like 60 degrees something like that all right so I want to duplicate this line right here so alt drag it across so that duplicates it I want to flip it right click transform reflect make sure it's 90 degrees and make sure it's vertical hit OK that flips it exactly the opposite so it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be next to each other. Just make sure it overlaps just like this. And we can clean that up in just a second. So make sure the selection tool is selected. Drag, they're all highlighted. Shape Builder tool again. Hold Alt, delete, delete. So now you can have the pointed edge of the A. And the bottom isn't quite matched up, so I'm actually gonna clean that up. So Shape Builder tool, Rectangle tool, make a rectangle right here somewhere here looks good and I'm going to highlight it all shape of the tool delete 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 so now it has the basic shape of the hollow A but now I want to have something in the middle so I'm going to take my circle that I put off to the side and I'm going to place it somewhere in the middle right here it's going to look a bit, little bit weird, but I want to make sure that it's perfectly in the center so I can use an actual square, a rectangle, sorry, as my uh, guide. So I go all the way to the top, drag it down, make sure it's cut perfectly in half. So that way the circle connects to the center of the rectangle automatically. So once that's done, and make sure it's exactly in half, I want to make sure that this edge right here lines up with the very outer part of the rectangle. So to zoom in alt and scroll on your mouse and just drag down so I can see that's flush with the edge. It looks really good. Alright, that way now I can get rid of this rectangle, select it, delete it. So that looks pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to highlight everything. Make sure the selection tool is selected, drag, everything's highlighted. Got to make sure this corner is really perfect. 
Alright. Hold on. Yeah, so making it perfect is kind of tough. But once you get it. Alright. Looks good. Let's give that a shot. So select all of them. Uh, you take the shape builder tool and just delete the bottom half of the circle right here. So now it just has the arch and the top part right there. And just everything looks pretty clean. So this still looks a little bit weird. So I want to cut off the bottom a little bit because it's really lengthy. So I'm going to take my rectangle tool. And it's personal pre preference. You guys can make it longer. You guys can make it shorter. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to make mine a little bit shorter right there. Nah, that looks good. So select all of them. Shape Builder tool. Alt. Just drag across and delete all of these. There we go. So now we have the basic A logo, but I want to make it a little bit more unique. So this circle right here, the one in the very middle that we added, I'm going to stroke this so we can actually cut pieces off these top rows right here. So select the circle, come up to stroke, and let's do 30. But as you can see, it's cutting into the, the circle right here, and I don't, don't want it to do that. So you go down to these three bars right here, which is the stroke tab. Make sure the width is around 30. You guys can do whatever you'd like with that. And align stroke, make sure it's on the outside. So it's not cutting into the circle. So as you can see, it does that right there. And once I have that stroke, I want to select the shape, object, path, outline stroke. And what that does is it outlines the stroke so I can now use that to cut into the top shape. I want to select all of the shapes again and you can still see the white stroke right there I want to come to shape builder tool alt and just cut these two pieces off the ones up top here and you guys can cut away the rest of the stroke just like that and a little piece did remain right down here in these two corners but I can easily delete that by selecting the shape and just cutting those away so now it looks a little bit better but this shape is still pretty thick and I don't know if I want it to be that thick so again selection tool drag and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna merge the shapes together to do that you come over here to the pathfinder you select pathfinder shape modes all the way to the left it's unite you hit that and as you can see it turned it to white and I don't want that so I click on my color palette go all the way to black Hit OK. Once that's done, this is one solid shape, so I can move it around, I can play with it all I want. But as I said, I want it to make it a little bit thinner. So this is where the stroke part comes into play. Stroke. Let's bump that up a little bit. Uh, looks about right. Alright, so that's stroke cut into it. And again, go to the stroke tab right here, the three lines. And make sure it's set to center. See, it makes it a little bit too big, so let's cut back a little bit. Looks about right. So again, same thing I did before. Select all of them. Object, path, outline stroke. Now I'm going to cut these away from these pieces. So the shape builder tool again. Zoom in. Cut. Cut. So now I have my pretty much the logo is pretty much done but I don't really like this little point right here in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that so in order to do that I'm gonna go to the shapes ellipse tool shift I'm gonna make a tiny little circle right here I'm gonna place this circle right in the center I'm gonna drag up until it looks about right right there so once I have that done again highlight it select it zoom in shape builder tool and just click don't hold alt or anything just click and now I'll get rid of the circle by hitting alt click so what I have now is I have a basic A logo so you guys can use this for anything you want I don't own any rights to this you guys can feel free to do this try it out give it a test uh, so this was the 
A out of 26 video tutorials that I'll be making for logos, so A through Z. So by the time this is posted, I probably will have B, uh, C, D in the works. So uh, if those are on my channel, you guys can go ahead and check them out. Um, that'll be in the description if they are. So yeah, if you guys like the video, uh, please subscribe if you guys want more tutorials. If you have any questions or anything, I'm here to help. So you can either follow me on Twitter or check me out in the description, ask some questions, and I'll help you guys out. So yeah, you guys have a great day.